Hi, I'm Gary White for Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with Lizzie Spalding. We're at the Marion County Extension Office. And today we're going to make spinach, spinach slaw. slaw. Yes. This is a good side dish for summer. Something a little different than um, your typical coleslaw. We made this at Farmer's Market um, this month. So uh, I got an ap approval from down there. Everybody really liked it. And they said, oh, I will make that. So I thought, well, this is a good one to do for Channel 6. That way everyone can, can see it and, exactly. and might want to try it. And it's something unique and uses some different products. So we'll yes. get a chance to it. And this stuff is in season. So you can find it at your local farmer's market. Fantastic. Yes. Yeah, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut up. We have some red cabbage, some green cabbage, some lettuce, and some spinach is our basis for our slaw. Okay. Um, so we're going to cut up a little bit of each of those. First thing we're going to do, I'm going to cut up two cups of red cabbage. Take this top leaf off here. That one doesn't look, doesn't look appetizing. the appetizing. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Put that. So this is going to add some color and some variations since all the rest of them are right. green, right? <laughs> That's the purpose of this red cabbage is to make it pretty. We always talk about that with our dishes to make them pretty. Can you tell a difference in flavor between red cabbage and green cabbage? There's going to be probably a slight difference, but it's not it's, more, it's not huge. Yeah, it's more of a, a color thing. Yeah. It's a visual element. It is a visual element. And the, the red cabbage does make it look really nice in your bowl, mm -hmm. your dish there. Now, it's called red cabbage, mm -hmm. but does it look purple to you? It does. Okay. <laughs> It's the same with a red onion. I think red onions look purple. <laughs> I just want to make sure my eyes weren't playing It's like that me. deep, deep red, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> or a colorblind person named it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But this is a spinach slaw, and it's one of the plated up recipes? It is. It's a plated okay. up Kentucky Proud recipe. You know, we always, we try to use these all year round, but especially in the summer because a lot of this produce is in season. So we mm -hmm. want you to either get it out of your own garden or visit the farmer's market or even some grocery stores sell local produce. So mm -hmm. that's an option as well if, if some of your local grocers do that. Absolutely. Yes. And the farmer's markets are open in all three counties now. So you can kind of go out and support local farmers. They would definitely appreciate it because they need all the support they can get for stuff. So. And we're just, very we're going to put two cups of this in there. So I'm going to start putting it in our, our measuring cup. And now if I'm at home, I'm probably not going to pre-measure pre this. I'm probably just going to dump it in. But we'll do it. We'll follow the recipe. So there's one cup. And I will say, since you didn't see me do this, this has been pre-washed. You definitely want to make sure that you wash beforehand. Uh -huh. Regardless of where you buy it, you need to wash it. Absolutely. <clears throat> Cleanliness is important. Okay. Need to clean off your counter spaces too before you make it because you can see I have these sitting over here. So you want to make that make sure that's done. It's nice and clean. Especially if you are doing um, having a cookout, you're grilling out, mm -hmm. and you have had your meat out on the counter, you want to make sure that you thoroughly wash that off. Use a different cutting board for sure if you're cooking meat. We don't want any of that cross-contamination and we want to make sure everybody stays safe. Absolutely. Make sure all of our surfaces are cleaned off. That's right. Now with this one, so that was two cups. That was two of cups of that one. The red, red cabbage. Cup. Yes. That looks purple. That looks purple. Yeah. Now we're going to get our <laughs> green cabbage. That looks green. That looks green. Tear that one off. <laughs> yes. Throw that one away. Absolutely. So since we're doing more vegetables, you can utilize the same cutting board. Right. For, since we're just using veggies here, you can, can use that. I guess a sharp knife helps with these things. Yeah. <laughs> Cabbage is hard. But again, do try and get all this stuff locally if, if you can because right. Supporting our local farmers is a very important thing as well. And the farmers markets are open several days a week now in Marion County. Is it Saturday and there, Wednesday? Yes, Saturday and Wednesday. 
Mm -hmm. And you can go and get a variety of items. So cabbages are in season? Yes. Okay. Um, well, your, yeah, your lettuce and your cabbages, they're early and, and late crops. I don't, uh, your, your lettuces are definitely in season right now. Uh, your, or they might be going out of season. Those are something usually in early spring, your leaf lettuces and things like that. Uh -huh. The spinach is in season right now. Cabbage is usually something that's grown as a fall crop in Kentucky. So I don't know, um, a lot of our farmers have different means to grow different things. Right, um, so. Yeah. So I, you never know what you're gonna get when you go there, which is what makes it exciting. <laughs> exactly, you no, never know what they're gonna have. have. Makes it more interesting that way. But our uh, Marion County Lebanon Farmers Market does have some different um, lettuces. I saw them down there, so. Uh -huh. Now for this, with cabbages, I know it's red cabbage and it's green cabbage, but I mean, it doesn't matter. There aren't other kind of cabbages. It doesn't, just whatever cabbage can right. work, right? Okay. Right. So I know with lettuces, there's a variety of different kinds of lettuce. And if you wanted to use all of a certain kind of cabbage, you could, but it just makes it look a lot nicer using the two different kinds. Mm -hmm. It just makes right. it nice and pretty. And you can see she's cutting it kind of to the size where it's easy to chew. Yes, and that is all personal preference with how you cut up your lettuce, cabbage, or whatever you're cutting up. Because some people shred it, and some mm -hmm. people cut it up finer than what I am cutting it up. It just depends on your personal preference. Right. Yes, my, uh, my mom would use a grater. And, yes, uh, some people like it really it. fine. I like her. mine shredded or a little bit chunkier. That's just my own personal preference. So you can do whatever suits you. It's all your choice. All your choice. And you can get a copy of this recipe for the spinach slaw by contacting the Extension Office here in Marion County, or you can contact Washington County or Nelson County Extension Offices, yes. and they'll be happy to get them to you as well. Or you can go on the plated up plated up website as well and uh, get a copy of the recipe on there too. There's our two cups. You can see I am making a mess here, <laughs> cutting this up. That's all right. Need a bigger cutting board. Okay, so after we do that, we're going to cut up two cups of iceberg lettuce, and I'm just going to tear these off and cut them up finer. Okay, so iceberg is what we're looking for here. Yes. Okay. What's your favorite kind of lettuce? Um, depends on what I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's not the answer you're looking for, but <laughs> in the spring, uh, whenever it's fresh, I really do like the leaf lettuce that you can get. Um, if I am having a salad, I really like romaine or spinach. Uh, I do eat iceberg lettuce, but my preference is a darker green, so it kind of depends on what I'm eating, and, but I'll eat whatever I have. I love lettuce. Now, uh, iceberg is not the most nutritionally beneficial lettuce, No, it is right? not, and that's one reason why I don't. Uh, I think the other lettuces have a stronger flavor, but just as far as nutritional value goes, this doesn't really have a whole lot. It's mostly water. So if you're wanting to get some nutrients out of it, be healthy, um, a dark leafy green is going to be a better option for you, uh -huh. such as the spinach or a romaine lettuce. Okay. But there are a variety of different lettuces oh, yes. as well. So when you say lettuce, you have to know what you're what you're thinking of, you know. And this is. Uh, so we've got one cup of that in here. Be some iceberg lettuce. Got a little bit of everything in here: cabbage, iceberg, spinach. So spinach is a, a lettuce. Yes. It's in the lettuce family. It is. Okay. I like spinach. I do too. I think spinach gets a bad rap. <laughs> People just assume they don't like it without ever trying it. <laughs> and I'll see what would have happened if Popeye had said that. 
<laughs> <laughs> right. It's good for us, and it tastes good. Cut up a little bit more for that. It'll make you strong. Well, it gives you lots of uh, vitamins and nutrients that spinach does. It's very good for you. <laughs> and remember, wash everything, because, you know, yes. just like, as you can see, when she's tearing off these le leaves, there's lots of crevices there that for things to potentially get into. So you make can sure see you ours out. is nice and clean. I mm -hmm. have washed it beforehand. Mm -hmm. You just want to, you don't want to add something to the recipe that you don't think you <laughs> are supposed to. You don't want anybody to get a surprise in yeah. their, their spinach slaw. <laughs> and then um, lastly for that, we're going to add one and a half cups of fresh spinach. And we are going, I am going to cut this up just because these whole spinach leaves can be pretty big, so I'm going to chop those up finer. Cup and a half, is that what you said? Mm -hmm. So it's called spinach slaw, and it gets the least amount of it. It gets the least amount, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but that's because it has some good flavor, and you can you don't need as much in order to know it's there. Well, it is a slaw, so you know we have to have our cabbage base, Gary, over there, that's and we true. do. That is true. We have a variety of cabbages, different colors. But you can get a copy again by contacting any of the extension offices. Let us know when you try it, what you think of it. So far, I've had about. really good reviews, so I would like to hear if anybody else tries it, see what they think. Because after we get all these leaf elements in there, we're going to have some other items that kind of might be a little surprise for some people. So <laughs> be happy to hear what you think of that once you see what else goes into it. But it sounds good to me. Um, and a lot of our, our taste testers at Farmer's Market didn't know, they didn't realize what was in it until I, they said, oh, I don't like that. And I said, well, you're eating it. So <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. you didn't know you didn't <laughs> like it. Exactly. You might su surprise some picky eaters with this. Mm -hmm. That'd be good. And it seems to be making quite a bit, too. That's right, it does make a big bowl full. You're doing this right before the summer, you're saying this would be a great side item for it would various be, barbecues and stuff. And it's, it's a lot healthier than your traditional um, coleslaw recipe. I'm just going to try to clean up my mess a little bit over here before we start mixing together our dressing. Okay. Which is what we're going to do next. So we're going to use some canola mayo, which this one is not canola, this one's olive oil. Same, same principle do. here. <laughs> we're going to use a fourth of a cup of that. We know mayo is not super healthy, but this is a healthier option. And we're just using a fourth of a cup. So when they add the olive oil, it's healthier, it's a healthier base kind of? Yeah. Good. I like olive oil. So we're going to put that in here. Just cuts out some of the fat. Like I said, some of the fat, mayo is not healthy, but this one has got 60 calories per um, tablespoon, so it's a little, little healthier. Good. The next thing we're gonna put in, and this is the one that people said, oh, I don't like that. We're gonna put in some hummus. This is original flavor, so we've got original here. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to spice up your spinach slaw, you could get some uh, some different flavors. Those are out there. You can get mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. yeah different flavors. You can get the garlic, the red pepper. Mm -hmm. There's a like spinach flavor, I think. You're gonna put a fourth a cup of that in. So not a whole lot. It's giving it a different texture. Right. Which is good. And you might surprise some people with this that don't like hummus. I myself, I'm not a huge fan of hummus. I can eat it in things, and that's kind of how I am with this dish. Um, just because it's in there, I'm not going to say, oh, I'm not going to eat that. I will try it. And I've come to find out I really like hummus when it's in dishes. I just don't like to eat it by itself. <laughs> I'm, the same way with, I'm the same way with yogurt. I like it in things. I don't like it by mm. itself. So you never know. You need to keep trying things. That's you right. don't know. Keep trying, try. Yes, we're going to put in two tablespoons of honey. So this is going to act as our, okay, our sweetener sweet. here. Going to get a little sweet. This is an unusual blend of flavors. Got a little bit of everything going here. Hmm. 
is kind of interesting. Some mayo, some hummus. And honey. And honey. Because usually a lot of slaws, I guess they could be sweet. Mm -hmm. A lot of people put sugar in their coleslaw, so. Okay, yeah. There's our two tablespoons of that. Our bear's getting empty. Our bear is getting empty. <laughs> so you can see this is not locally grown honey. Our farmer's market actually didn't have any local honey. They do sometimes, but they didn't last time I was down there. Yeah, but that is another item you can get. Yes, uh, you sure can. Locally often, so keep your eye out for that as well. And it can help with allergies, potentially. <laughs> I need some good local honey, I think. And then we're going to put in a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I don't know about hummus locally. Maybe no, somebody. I haven't, haven't seen that. So we're going to put in a half a teaspoon of garlic powder there. They grow their chickpeas. I don't know if anybody grows chickpeas or not. Not that I've seen at the farmer's market, but it doesn't mean they're not out there. <laughs> We're going to put in an eighth teaspoon of salt and an eighth teaspoon of pepper. So we have our salt. Salt is kind of running out here. Just get a not too of that. much. Right, right, not too much. And pepper for some spice too. Yes. If I can get it open, some pepper for some spice. It doesn't want to come out. No, it doesn't no. want to come out. There we go. There we go. Just took me a minute. <laughs> so we've They're got stubborn. a eight teaspoon of pepper. We're gonna whisk all that together. Bring it off my spoon here. And that's gonna be our dressing. Be our dressing for our slaw. Hmm. Sounds good. So this is the spinach slaw. Get a copy of the recipe, try it out, let us know what you think. And uh, I hope you enjoy it for the can summer. Can you smell this, Gary? With all this. I can yeah. smell it <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's penetrating your allergies, <laughs> that's is. good. I am gonna mix this up a little bit before we put that on there. Mm -hmm. You wanna get some of the red up there. Yes, you wanna get it in a good mix with all those colors. You can see it in the bowl. Mixing it's them up pretty. there. Get a good coloring of all your lettuces. And then we're gonna pour our, our dressing over that. This actually makes quite a bit of dressing. So your slaw's gonna get nice and covered. Cool. If you're transporting this to a picnic, barbecue, cookout, I might make these, go ahead and make these up and then wait and put my dressing on once I got there. Mm -hmm. Just so your lettuce doesn't get soggy. Yeah. But this is a dish that tastes better after it refrigerates for a little while. So once you get it made and mixed up, you are gonna wanna stick that in the fridge for a little bit. Let it chill down. Let it chill. Let those flavors soak in and cover your lettuces, your spinach, your cabbage in there. I think lots of things that are mayonnaise based are better cold. Yes, <laughs> but since this does have a mayonnaise base in it with, or with any food, but especially those uh, mayonnaise based, you want to remember your food safety. If you are outside, you need to remember that the maximum amount of time for food to be out, even indoor or outdoor, is two hours. So once you've went past that, needs to be thrown out or it needs to be refrigerated before you get to that point. So we want everybody to stay food safe this summer. So definitely remember those mm -hmm. food safety rules. Two hours is the limit. But you can see that's all coated now. Our dressing and it looks so nice and colorful and pretty. Yep. And then you're going to refrigerate it and then serve it yes. and enjoy. It's a good, good side dish to go with your Hamburgers, hot dogs. I think this would be good on a hamburger. I haven't done that oh, yeah. yet, but that's my intention. That's what I'm going to use it for. Oh, okay, that would be cool. Topping. Yeah. yeah. A slaw burger. Yes. To have. Okay, very good. Well, again, get your copy of the spinach slaw from any of the extension offices. This has been Gary White with Lizzie Spalding at the Marion County Extension Office.